Well, this house was built 140 years ago, stands right now at 111th and South St. Lawrence. In those 140 years, it has gone through many different lives and now is serving as another cornerstone in telling the Pullman story. These are the arches. It's inside the house where we find a work in progress. History uncovered through layers of paint. It's this restoration project peeling back an American story. There's still a lot, lot of work to do. Pat Chemansky is one of the champions of the Pullman Preservation Project. This mansion, once the home of the Pullman Company's longtime general manager, H.H. Sessions, has lived many, many lives since the company was forced to sell it at the start of the 20th century. This property became the Pullman Club, which was a private club for businessmen, and um, was operated as the Pullman Club until middle 1950s, almost 1960. After that, it became a series of three restaurants. It had been vacant for almost 20 years with no utilities in the house, so a lot of, you know, peeling paint, mold, uh, plaster falling down. Uh, there had been many renovations over the years. Right now, a pop-up exhibit at the home's entryway shows Pullman's connection to America's labor movement. Among the artifacts here is this pen, used by Barack Obama when he elevated Pullman's national profile. It was a year ago, last Labor Day 2021, that the Pullman National Monument just across the street from this house was dedicated. All very exciting things. The National Park Service sees the development this monument has brought, including the historic restoration of homes. We have lots of potential and uh, will continue to grow for many years to come. Today, the Pullman House Project is working to restore not only this grand home, but also several others that once made up an entire town of thousands. Well, you save places because they're important for history, and each piece of the, the puzzle that still exists is an important piece in interpreting what happened, why did it happen. I mean, the work funded by grants and this new coffee shop inside the mansion, the donations from which go to the ongoing efforts to preserve this Pullman story for future generations. And that we will see uh, as many visitors a day as we can handle. And uh, that if we can do that, then we're telling the stories we need to tell and people are appreciating. Now today being Labor Day was just a sneak peek of what is to come. Work continues not only on this veranda outside, but also on the many things that they still have to do inside for this restoration project. The Pullman Club Coffee Club officially set to open sometime next month. We'll keep you updated at WGNTV.com. For now, we are in Pullman. Sean Lewis, WGN News.